What's up guys, Chris here, bringing you an Outlandshine Wi-Fi battle. Today's match is against a Smogon contender by the name of Caden Tube, or Caden Tube, one of the two. He leads off with the main shadows, I lead off with Blue Buster the Wailord. He goes for a fake out. I could have switched into Gengar predicting the um, high jump kick, but I did not want to break my sash. And I know that Minshaw cannot set up rock, so I'll just let him go for the U-turn as I counter him with the Choice Banded Waterfall, which ends up hitting an incoming scissor, which could two, two hit KO if um, Waylord hadn't been faster. But no, and he goes for another U turn. I'm guessing he's trying to get switch priority on me, but I'm not going to let it happen. So, his plan possibly backfires. He, he switches into Main Shadow, so I'm for. No, he wants to go for a fake out, so I go into Creep. So he's like, alright, that thing's faster, and I can't go for fake out. So I go into my Lodic. My, um, his. Special wall, or was special wall, except Creep's going for a world record in special defense drop, so that is special defense drop number one. And I follow up with another Shadow Ball. He takes a little bit more damage because of the special defense drop, and that's special defense drop number two. He goes for the Scald, which uh, I was a little afraid of, but no, it doesn't even do really half, but he does get the burn, so that's going to hurt. But he is going to switch out at this point because he doesn't want to take a... Shadow Ball with minus two special defense, so I go for a Shadow Ball and I hit incoming Scizor, who doesn't take it too well, and he gets special defense drop number three. So, yeah, Creep is just going out, and I figure I can save him for um, Destiny Bond later, so I switch out and I go into Magnus V, who can take anything a Scizor has. As he goes for the Wolf Hunt for to resist, and at this point I determine this thing is possibly banded, because Magnus V is not lacking in defense. And he has a lot of HP, so taking that much damage, uh, that's pretty much what I'm aiming at. But I go for the substitute, knowing that just from his damage, just maybe about 70-ish, is not going to break a sub. So I can sub up, and I can go for some Calm Minds, which is exactly what I'm going to do. In comes my Lodic, and I'm not quite sure what it can do. But at this point, I know I just want to get it out of the way. I want to just rid this thing. So I'm going to go straight for the Hidden Power Grass on this next turn. And I was hoping it could finish it off, but I knew it wasn't going to finish it off. Deep down inside, I knew. I knew I should have just gone for a Calm Mind, but no. I went for the Hidden Power Grass, and he recovers, and I'm like, oh, fuck. Now this is a battle. Magnus V is, you know, he's still reeling from his, his um, amazing sweep. He's like, hey, I have to go to the, uh, the Thorion. I can take out my Lonic. So he goes for the Lava Plume, and I'm like, what the hell are you doing, Magnus? Why are you going for Lava Plume? He's like, burn, give residual damage. Racks up over time. And I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. My logic's like, I'm just going to Scald you. And I'm like, okay. Let's see how much that Scald's going to do. As Magnus V's going to go for another Lava Plume, hoping for the burn. Um, it doesn't do any damage. I don't get the burn. He goes for the Scald. And with a uh, plus one special defense, I'm quite sure I can take it. And I don't. Due to a crit. So, Magnus V gets dropped by Milotic, and he doesn't really leave any legacy behind this time around. So, in comes Charlie, and Charlie is not even going to play around this time around. He's like, I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt, but like right as I clicked it, like, crap, he has an Electivire. And Electivires are total jokes, according to some people, until you set up your just motor drive. So, then I go into Picante, knowing he might want to go for the Earthquake, and I can also get in it and Intimidate off on him. And he ends up switching out to Milotic as I switch back into Charlie. So I have the advantage this time around. And I believe I'm going to go for a Grass Knot, perhaps? No! I believe I go straight for the Thunderbolt, predicting him to predict me to want to go for anything other than a Thunderbolt since he switched out like fire last time. And that's exactly what happens. I take him down, and then he switches in Scizor, who I'm like, I'm faster than Scizor. I don't know what you're trying to do. I've already determined you're banded, so I'm just going to Thunderbolt you. And Charlie's like, I'm on a sweep! And I'm like, yes, you are. So the in comes Dusclops. And at this point, I'm like, I don't think I want to take on Dusclops. So I believe I switch into my, um, Picante? Okay, that's not what I was expecting. I thought I switched into Creep, but I guess not. He goes for a Nightshade, and I'm like, ha! 301 HP, perfectly planned to take four nightshades to get finished off, so I start going for my quiver dances, and quiver dances, well, it's going to help me set up. Uh, Picante might actually find his moment in the sunlight, 
I get to keep going for Quiver Dances. Or, there goes the Quiver Dance. Maybe at this point he realizes, hey, this guy's setting up. So he's going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, and it's going to hit. And that means I'm going to take residual damage with the burn. Um, next turn, I'm predicting he's going to go for the uh, Nightshade again, gets more damage. I'm at plus two speed, plus two special defense, plus two special attack. But I do get my Roost off, because this is the correct Picante. It's not Shutterfly. And I get a whole bunch of health back. And I'm pretty sure at this point he's looking at it and he's like, crap. What am I going to have to do to finish off a Masquerade? I don't know I can take at least, like, I think I go for another Roost. I'm not sure what I do, actually, to be quite honest. I go for Scald. Yes, I was hoping for Burn for some residual damage. And Electivire. Uh, I'm predicting to predict him this time around. As he's going to go for... Oh, he goes for Fire Punch. Okay, I'm not really quite sure what I was trying to predict. Oh, well. So then I go into the Madness. And Madness is not going to play around with nobody. Uh, figured he, I figured he was going to switch into what's called Dusclops. So I switched out to, what's it called, Creep. Yes, that's exactly what happens. Uh, no one, I won't have to take a Nightshade. Um, he switches out to um, Bouncy Bird, who I'm going to go for the Destiny Bond on. And uh, surprisingly to this battle, he actually um, has to leave. And I believe it was down to... Um, Two to four or four to two, something like that. Shadow Ball takes him out, and uh, well, doesn't take him out. It puts him down to a little smidget and gets me special defense drop number four. And at this point, is going to disconnect. I lost it. I think I have Charlie and the Madness left versus four of his Pokemon. Um, feel like I was in a great position, but that was still a great battle nonetheless. Thank you all for watching. Check us out at BluePartyOrg. See you guys next time.